this is before I put in EX120 uh, from Zardo. I've seen this on the internet a fair few times, and um, everyone basically just says it works perfectly and just instantly. So the car is getting warmed up. Um, this is my drive. It's quite steep. Um, well, kind of, and this always makes my car jitter. So I'll see um, if I can get it on camera when uh, the car jitters. There is a couple of things in the back of the car that kind of vibrate when the car shudders. That might help emphasize the shuddery noise. So let's give it a go. Yeah, I could definitely feel it and hear it, but let's do it a bit harder, see if we can get it to do it again. Back at the bottom. Yeah, so that I can definitely hear that. Remember, this is uh, a second channel of mine, actually, and um, I would like to get it monetized from all the videos I have, so please subscribe so I can get the channel above a thousand. Uh, subscribers and then you know keep watching because I do quirky things interesting things so, right here it is here's the tube I haven't done it apparently people on the internet say uh, oh I think I need to turn this actually don't I so you put that right to the top that's what it is and then the whole thing goes in and then I think someone said some blue stuff was still in the end of the tube so they pulled the plunge a bit in the middle, they tuck it out and then re-squirted air through the last bit, so something like that. So we'll give it a go. This is tricky. Yeah. Let's see what it actually looks like. It's really just blue, isn't it? Like a blue gunk. Like that. Yeah, interesting. Right, I'll put the camera down. And you do, it ends up full of blue stuff at the end, so I need to get that out. Right, we're done. It looks like there's some in there, but it's actually empty, it's just there's some blue lining. Um, just for those of you that are curious, it actually just feels exactly like oil, uh, like maybe like a synthetic oil or something, uh, and then it smells like a kitchen cleaning detergent. Weird. But it does, that's what it smells like. So let's give it a start. Um, this is the first time, so I've just put that in and I'll now reverse back down my drive and then back up and see if the shed has gone. And then I'll do another report after when I've driven it a little bit. So for me, I've already changed the oil with genuine Honda fluid twice and uh, so that didn't work getting, getting rid of the shudder the shudder's not too violent, it's not too bad it's just really annoying that's all, so let's give it a go and remember the if this video uh, is helpful and you're thinking maybe to buy some, uh, and this video convinces you that it does work, as a, or doesn't work actually, I don't really know. The best way to thank me is just subscribe, because I would like to get enough subscribers so that I can start getting paid for my videos on this channel. Right. So a couple of people said basically it works instantly within the first second so uh, I suppose maybe what I'll do some people do this uh, I'll give it a go is they just put the car in all of its gears and they swap it around a bit in there I'll do that a couple of times the time. 
time. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Ah, shutter was still there. Slightly better, but still there. But maybe it's not um, all fallen down the tube into the gearbox yet, I don't know. But we'll know in a minute. I'll keep doing it. I feel like I felt it then. I kind of feel like I didn't feel it. So let's give it another couple of goes. <laughs> uh, let's do a bit. That's a bit steeper. Let's do it here on this on this hill. So you see if you can hear the um, rattle in the back from it vibrating. Um, I, I feel like it's 95% uh, gone. I feel like there's still a bit of something there, but I could be wrong. I don't know. So let's go to the steepest bit of the hill. So that's about here. Let's just do it here. So. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that does seem to have gone. Ha! <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's the easiest repair I've ever done. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, that has gone. That has gotten rid of my shudder. That's pretty cool. Why? Okay, that has gotten rid of the shudder. That's pretty cool. One more. One more just for good luck. Okay, that's pretty cool. No, definitely good. Well, it seems to work. Seems to work. Um, yeah, it definitely seems to work. And uh, this is the exact one I got. There you go. I'll take a picture. Um, I would uh, probably recommend it at this point. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, apparently on the package, it says it will last for 60,000 miles. Um, and I know that through reading for, for months I've been looking at getting this but I just was a bit unsure because it is a little bit pricey uh, this was 47 Australian dollars uh, for you know I know that there were people that have had it in their car for a year or two or for five months and you know it, it seems to just be fine for them um, I did read one comment once that a guy said after a couple of years it started to wear off a bit maybe or that the shudder came back a little bit and he just put another one in and that was fine so probably uh, probably just think about it like that I don't know if my camera is actually focused anyway um, I hope this video helped someone I do like to do some videos like this to help people with making uh, decisions based on repairing things I do I have another channel which I won't say um, and I don't really like to do too many repair things on there. Um, anyway, thank you, and consider subscribing, even if you're not overly interested, because if I get the channel over a thousand subscribers, then uh, that means I can start getting monetized for the videos that I have on this channel, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, thank you, and uh, take care.